X for origin unknown. The killer came first to Delaware Bay, then in 1959 to Chesapeake Bay, where a new director had just arrived at the Virginia Institute of Marine Science. Our first major problem was this MSX. And I felt that the director ought to be able to ought to be able to call the people and say, look, we've got a significant problem and we must work on it. Biologists in Virginia were quick to study MSX, but the parasite was quicker. The oyster industry really took a nosedive after that. For Bill Hargis, the crash of oyster populations represents one of the great failures of modern science. Fewer oysters survived even as the management apparatus increased in size and spending. Even as the scientific apparatus increased in size and spending. Science has not been successful, and that's the failure of the game. No one, not even the best biologists of the time, could say where this killer parasite came from. The mystery parasite had a name, and the name stuck. The origin of MSX has always been a mystery. Forty years later, Gene Burrison was still trying to answer the core question about MSX. Where in the world did it come from? He did much of his work along the upriver oyster grounds of the James River, home to a fleet of old military ships. It's sort of a contradiction, these rotting old hulks of ships right over a really productive river for one of the most productive oyster grounds in the world. The ghost fleet of the James River. Hundreds of ships sitting at anchor floating high above the best oyster grounds in the bay. MSX and the James River came into the very lower James and the Mob Jack Bay area, more the, more the whole lower bay. Four decades later, MSX is still here and still lethal. Well, here's an oyster that looks like it's perfectly healthy. There's no meat in it, and the shell is actually still pretty white, shiny inside, which means it's a real recent mortality, but it could be from MSX. Burrison came here to collect young oysters that carried MSX, so he could try a new technique for solving the old mystery about this killer parasite. His hypothesis, MSX came from somewhere else. His first clues, MSX was sudden and it was lethal. It came in and was extremely pathogenic, killed millions of bushels of oysters the first year it was in the bay. And this is sort of typical of an, of an introduced pathogen, something that comes in from some other area and is extremely pathogenic in, in a native host. Another clue, MSX under the microscope looked a lot like another parasite a parasite found in oysters from Japan. They look similar. Their size is the same. Their shape is the same. The Japanese oyster parasite had multiple nuclei, just like MSX. Instead of looking at the shape of the parasite, Burrison wanted to look at the DNA the molecular blueprint for MSX. And he went looking for that blueprint in the blood of James River oysters. The parasites that we're after are in the blood, and we can bleed the oyster and get the parasites. Working with Burrison was Nancy Stokes, an expert trained in DNA-based diagnostic techniques. Starting with one slice of one gene, the researchers worked out the sequence. The unique order of four nucleic acids, the letters that always spell out MSX, 
and only MSX. With these gels, they had the blueprint, a kind of DNA fingerprint for MSX. Then they started over, tackling the parasite from Japanese oysters, working out the DNA sequence letter by letter. Was the DNA from the Chesapeake the same as the DNA from Japan? Comparing the sequences letter by letter and line by line shows a perfect match between two parasites. One from the Chesapeake, one from Japan. The sequence identity of the two parasites is like 99.99% the same. And that's, to us, uh, conclusive evidence that the parasite in Crassostria gigas in Korea and Japan is, in fact, MSX. Finally, an answer to the old mystery. MSX, the killer parasite, came here with oysters from the far side of the world. <laughs>